Breaking news right now, we're hearing the 911 calls from an Uber driver while being attacked on the job. And we want to warn you, this call is disturbing. Get the f out! Get the f car! The Collier County Sheriff's Office says Hunter Cook choked and beat the victim. Yeah, the victim says Uber is trying to wipe their hands of the case by saying she needed extra insurance. Wait News anchor Annette Montgomery joins us live now. And Annette, the victim says this isn't the first time the man attacked an Uber driver. Chris and Lois, Tanya Blasquez told me the man she says beat and carjacked her had a similar encounter with another Uber driver in 2021. I've not been able to verify that claim with law enforcement or Uber. The Blasquez's own story is backed up by surveillance video and a 911 call in which you can hear part of the attack. Here's the arrest report, the Collier County Sheriff's Office record of what happened between this man, Hunter Cook, and his Uber driver, and there's Tony Blasquez's account. He tried choking me, he punched me, and he hopped in the car and left. The 54-year-old driver talked with me by phone about what happened, how it started out at seat to table, and how it turned violent. He was drunk, and he gets in the car, and he's already rude. That was shortly before midnight, June 24th. Blasquez said she took Cook to an address along Bonita Beach Road, but he wouldn't get out of her car. So she called 911. Blasquez remembers making the call and remembers Cook taking her phone out of her hand and throwing it in the street. When he hears me speaking to the police, he said a lot of bad things to me, started hitting me. He threw my phone outside because the door was open and he started hitting me and threw me outside. I fell on the floor and he got out and kept hitting and kicking me. And then she told me Cook threw her out of her car and drove away. Because she didn't have a phone any longer, she told me she ran to a local bar and called for help a second time. He could have killed me and I wouldn't be giving this interview. Collier County deputies arrested Cook thanks to surveillance video that the arrest report says depicts the incident. Now Cook is banned from using Uber, coming to seat to table, and from ever contacting Blasquez again. But Blasquez said none of that really helps her now. It was a bad experience that I don't want to go through ever again because I am still shaking and I'm in therapy. And Cook was banned from coming to seat to table and from contacting the victim, but he was also given bond and now he's out of jail. The victim told me the fact that Cook is free scares her. Uh, more on her reaction to that, all new at 6. Live in Collier County, Annette Montgomery, Wink News. All right.